Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we're we're going for ultimate jank here guys. Uh we're doing a Stormwild Capridor deck. So the whole idea of this card, uh any non-combat damage to this card is prevented. And instead you put that many 1-1 counters on it for each one damage prevented that way, which is awesome. Uh because we run things like Storm's Wrath or Deafening Clarion or Response which can deal 5 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Perforos's intervention, basically a lot of burn. Uh, so the idea here is um, we're going to be like discarding and drawing up until we can get the Capridor out. Uh, Deafening Clarion and Storm's Wrath is going to help kind of sweep the board, but also power up our Capridor, and that's our win con. Uh, so Perforos's uh, intervention, a great way to do that. Uh, Fire Prophecy, a great way to do that. Deafening Clarion, Storm's Wrath, and then Response here. Uh, and technically Chandra, uh, also, minus three, put three counters on this, essentially. So there's a lot of that. Um, <laughs> Gideon Blackblade, a uh, great way to give it indestructible, lifelink or vigilance, anything like that. Uh, in, in the two-drop slot here, Cathartic Reunion and Thrill of Possibility, these are kind of our draw engines. We'll discard some stuff to help get us there. Um, we have Hactos, the Unscarred. I'm a little uh, skeptical on this, but it is a big damage dealer, and we are looking to essentially just finish the game as quickly as possible, so I'm in for that. Uh, Elspeth Conquers Death, a great way to bring back the Crapador, but also uh, kind of deal with the opponent's board a little bit. Um, and then this here is just kind of our big combat trick uh, to really, really buff him up. And then, of course, Chandra to help us finish the game. Now, if we look at our land count, I believe we are at 20... Whoops. <laughs> I believe we are at 24... Um, and essentially, let me just double check. Yep, 24. Uh, we have six planes, eight mountains. We are a little bit heavier red. Two Castle Ardenvale, though, to kind of balance that out. Uh, four Sacred Foundry and four Temple. And that's it. So this is kind of the ultimate in Jank. It's going to be really, really silly. Uh, I have no idea if this is good. I have not yet played it. It looks fun. Uh, and that's all that matters. Today, we are, we're just having some fun. I'm kind of trading off between really good decks. Like, yesterday was Jeskai Luka, which is stupid good. Um, and then things like this, which... Let's be honest, they're probably not that good, but that's okay. They're fun. Uh, also, um, I've been mentioning it in every video, but uh, if you want to pick up our lands, you could do so at itresolvesmtg.com. Uh, they are available right now uh, for you guys to pick up. Do we keep this? Um, part of me leans towards yes because of the Storm's Wrath. Part of me leans towards no because we've got nothing to do in the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, I think we have to mulligan, right? Oh, this is, this is bad. This is real bad. We're going to keep because we can't really go any lower here. Um, I think we'll put this back. And now we just have to hope we had a red source. Probably shouldn't have even mulliganed, to be honest. Um, it just didn't do anything. The hand didn't do anything. Okay, not good. I mean, any land gets us Gideon, which is fine. Uh, but really we want to get to something a little bit better. We want to get to our Capricorn as quickly as possible. And that's not going to do it. All right, well, and it begins. <laughs> oh, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Hopefully, uh, for those of you uh, in the U.S., it's Memorial Day. I guess that's just U.S. I honestly don't know. Um, but Memorial Day weekend, I hope you are uh, going to be spending some time with your family. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, we're going to do this now. We're just we're just going to get rid of everything. Um they do get to sacrifice some stuff, and that's fine, but we at least get rid of the Woe Strider here. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having some fun, though, this weekend. Enjoying your time. Um, I know it's fantastic to have an extra day off for me. Um, for anybody, I, I don't know. Uh, let me know your, like, not, I don't want to know your work situation necessarily, but, like, I'm interested to see how many people were really affected with the, like, COVID stuff in terms of their job. Um, my job did not change, really. Uh, I'm for anybody that doesn't know, I'm a web developer. Um, but I also do a lot of other things for a, uh, association that is kind of in this area. Um, and it's really, really fun, but, uh, we're going to put Gideon out. It's a threat. They can't really threaten it with a Gilded Goose. We'll just submit zero. Um, and so like, I, 
I kind of got lucky because uh, we literally started working from home like two weeks before all this hit. Um, and so nothing really changed for me other than we didn't have some of our conferences. Uh, but I'm interested to know, like, has anybody else been affected? What's your like work schedule now? Like, are you getting back to it or are you, you know, still kind of at the at home social distancing kind of thing? Because I know things things, at least in our area, are kind of winding down. But like, I don't know that that's a good thing. <laughs> Um, it's kind of my thing. So I don't know. Let me know. I'd be interested. Um, okay. So like we do this submit zero. Yeah, that's fine. Um, That's totally fine. Um, we can't just do this. Which I kind of like better than using the perforosis intervention. Yeah, we'll just, um, yeah, we'll attack. And yeah. Okay. In that case, we will use the perforosis intervention. For some reason, I was thinking they were gonna block. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Doop, uh, doop, doop. Do. Deals twice X. Get rid of that guy. Um, they'll sacrifice it here, and that's fine. Uh, we just kind of want to keep Gideon around, because now we can start exiling some of their stuff if we get there. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough mana or a Capricorn to really do too much, but they kind of are just spinning their wheels as well. Like They've got Witch's Oven going, but they don't even have a Cauldron Familiar out. It's just Jun Sacrifice. Which is sweet. It's a very good deck. Um, interesting. Okay. Uh, we're going to plus one more time here. Whoops. Um, and then we're going to swing in. Not a lot they can do. They can just like start gaining life off of their food tokens. That's worth noting. Um... Uh, let's do this. We're just going to discard another thrill. Um, and we'll see what we draw here. Interesting. That was fairly preemptive. Um, we'll throw this out. I'm going to pay two here, um, so we can leave up the fire prophecy, I think. Just so we can be a little bit more efficient. If they play a creature this turn, we just get to fire prophecy it. Um, they can also just sacrifice in response, but like I'm going to make them sacrifice in response. I think the key here is we just need to make sure they don't get creatures out um, that stick in particular. Okay. Um, does How did, much does that change things? We get to exile a permanent. We'll just do this. Okay. Um, land is good. Land is good. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think we just move to attacks, right? I'm going to exile a permanent first. We're going to get rid of the switches oven. If they want to use it, they can use it now. I don't want them to continuously be able to use this. Perfect. That is fine. That's fine. Okay. Now, if they want to block, they can. Uh, they do not want to block. Hmm. What's in their graveyard? Just the Mayhem Devil. I'm going to do this. Let's get rid of that Woe Strider. <clears throat> All right. Another Witch's Oven. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. Um, okay. We can just Chandra. This Jank deck is just turning out in this matchup, at least, to not really be bad. Um, let's do this. This may force a concede, honestly. Um, I'm just going to plus, honestly. I'm not really worried about the Gilded Goose. It's not dealing any damage. Uh, let's do this. 
We could have fire prophesied it, but like, who cares? Um, they might just block here just to block and then sacrifice it. Sure. That's fine. They can get Woe Strider back. Um, but between Chandra and like Fire Prophecy, we're kind of fine there. Ooh, that changes the math a little bit. Um, hmm. So if there's an opportunity, we might be able to minus this and exile the Cauldron Familiar, but it doesn't look like they're going to give us that opportunity. Okay, so... Actually, we can force the opportunity, I suppose, right? Uh, not really. They didn't have to do that, but that's fine. I'm glad they did. So now we can minus and actually exile the Cauldron Familiar. Get rid of that. Just so they're not draining life. Um... We're just going to do this. Let's get this game done. Uh, we'll plus up. What does it have for? Can I not? Is that not protection? Or whatever, I guess. Is this? Well, I'm, am I missing something here? Uh, okay. We'll just attack in. Oh, other than the chosen number. Okay. When I, when I saw that, I saw, saw protection from the chosen number. So that was just my mistake, but that's okay. Um, this way, they're not draining us for, for life, though, with the Cauldron Familiar. That's good. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, let's do this. Put you on the bottom. We don't need that. Um, don't have two cards to discard. Uh, just do that. Um, let's just finish the game. There we go. All right. Well, we got there. Um, granted, this was a weird matchup. Like, Jun Sacrifice, I haven't seen much of recently. Um, cool to see it now, but, like, it's usually not in the, uh, in the running at the moment. So, anyway, that was a cool matchup. <clears throat> we actually did okay. Kind of surprising. All right, let's jump in. Ooh, super thirsty. I've been working all morning. Um, so, um, as most people, I think, are at this point in time, uh, if you're a homeowner, you are probably, uh, because you've been stuck inside for so long, uh, my fiance and I decided to do a lot of, like, house projects, which have been really fun. Um, we just, this week, we replaced our floor, uh, got new laminate in, it looks great, really excited about that, and... We just, as of this morning, um, replaced, we like put shiplap on our bar area. Uh, and so it looks really, really nice. And I'm so excited. Land three of those in the top. Um, if we get another land, we get to Storm's Wrath off of this, assuming this doesn't, you know, get countered or anything. All right, we're passing. So one thing I'll say about this deck so far, though, there's not a whole lot to do until there's a whole lot to do, um, which is a little weird. But that's okay. Let's say this out. Looks like is it flash, which is a cool deck, by the way. Sure. That's okay. We have another one. Um, and we've got Storm's Wrath. So at some point, yeah, like we get to kill these crackling drakes pretty easily, which is good. Um, we'll throw you out there. I think we're just gonna take the opportunity to go ahead and throw this out. Chances are they're gonna have a bounce spell of some kind considering it's blue red um but you know we'll we'll do the best we can we'll see we shall see no blocks that's fine i'm not gonna worry about it okay um <clears throat> so here let's try it chances are they're gonna counter they've got the two blue up which is like obvious counter yeah quench it that's fine um interesting that it auto tapped both blue oh okay they have shock in hand okay that makes sense 
<clears throat> uh, we're going to take a big hit here. That's for sure. These crackling drakes are ugh, disgusting. Oh, pff, yeah, you got it. Devil Striker. Raking Claws, man. This is like the second time I've seen it in a standard deck, and it's like kind of good um, in the right deck, obviously, but... Uh, they were able to protect their crackling drake there, which kind of sucked, but that's fine. Um, I don't think we would have missed. I don't think we misplayed really. I think they just had a counter. I mean, there's not much we can do about that. Um, all right, let's jump into game three. Let's see if we can get another win. This deck is kind of sweet. Like it's fun. Uh, we haven't really gotten to see it do what it's meant to do, but like that first game, that was well handled against a very difficult deck is what i will say uh this has a lot of interaction if they are a control deck this sucks um but we're gonna try it um sorry if we're losing a few frames here by the way guys good they're not a control deck that's actually not a bad draw either um we're gonna put this on the bottom we want to hit lands um, I'm going to try and power through this game because we're occasionally dropping, but it doesn't look as bad as it could be. I hate conceding out if I don't have to, so, but that's okay. Um, so I think the question becomes, do we, that helps. Um, do we just wait on the, and try and deafening Clarion? Either way, we get to fire prophecy at instant speed. So like when they attack we get to do this um actually crap we should have done it prior shouldn't we have that was a bit of a mistake Ooh, that was a big mistake actually let's pass and see what they do perfect all right let's get that um do i want to put a card Yeah, let's put that back, actually. That was actually optimal uh, because they wasted their mana, which is fantastic. Um, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and Deafening Clarion. Clear the board. It's only a two for one, not anything major, but it just gives us the opportunity to kind of reset. Um, and we made them waste their mana last turn, which felt good. Perfect. We can kill that. <coughs> Against this kind of deck, I think the answer is as as often as possible, you just kind of kill their big stuff and hope you get there on the rest of it. Um, uh, probably should have played the Sacred Foundry. We'll end the turn. We'll see what they do with this first. I love the instant speed burn. It makes it just feel a lot nicer because you don't really have to, have to worry about um, doing it preemptively. Okay. Do this now. Um, let's put Thrill back. Like, that's annoying, but it's not really. Okay. Here we need to start being proactive. So this now has protection from all this stuff, which is super nice. Oh, frame rates are garbage. So sorry, guys. We'll try and make this game pretty quick. Um, trying to play cautiously, but we'll be a little more reckless. OK, that's fine. They get to sacrifice it here, and that's fine. And they can bring back, back, excuse me, one of these guys. They do get in for, you know, technically two points of damage, which isn't bad. Um, but we have protection from all their stuff, so we're going to start hitting for six, which is pretty good. Not really what we want. Um, let's do this. That's not a bad card, actually. Let's keep that on top. 
We can kind of throw this out at any time. This is sorcery speed, right? Yeah. Uh, twice the damage. Do we really care about that, though? Because they've only got the one. Let's attack in here. Um, I think we'll just wait. We'll just spit out a little token and block. I think I'd rather hit something a little more, you know, heavy hitting um, if we can with this. We'll see. We will see. God, these frame rates are just garbage. Sorry, guys. I hate that. This just gives us a way to hit for like 12 damage, which is really nice. Uh, yeah. Don't like that. Um, that's pretty good. Death touch and menace. It's a little all in, I think, but sure. Just throw one of these guys out and they'll sacrifice and that's fine. <coughs> Let's do that. They can sacrifice it and that's fine, but they're still getting rid of it, which is the key. This can block this for the record. That's part of why we did that. Um, yeah, they should have, they definitely should have, you know, done the thing, but that's okay. Uh, let's attack in and we get to do it again. Even up the playing field a little bit. Um, don't know if that's correct. That's a very aggressive play. I don't know if that's technically correct, but that's what we're going to do. This is a bit of a problem, but we have protection from it. So, like, they can't. It has menace, I guess, so we can't really block it. But we can block the cauldron familiar, which is at least something. Also, guys, we're giving away another Akoria bundle. Um, we already gave away one. <laughs> nice. Uh, we already gave away one, but if you're interested in picking up another, um, or excuse me, in entering to have the chance to win another, you certainly can. Um, we have that available through like June 6th, I think. So you've got like 12 days or something like that, 13 days, uh, something like that. But it's available now. You can enter. It's the it's essentially the same process uh, as the first one, but you comment with hashtag Acoria Bundle, and that's it. That is all you got to do. This is a problem card for a deck like this. Um, oh. Oh. Yes, please. That wins us the game, does it not? They can't do this. They can't block this. So we just get to hit twice with Resurgent. That is ridiculous. This card is like kind of stupid good like with a Hactos in hand. Or on the field, I should say. Oh, that's kind of nice too just for for the heck of it let's do this i mean that's game all right stack in go down to one yep there we go awesome so we did get two wins with this sorry for the frame rates on that last game uh, i do apologize but we did get two wins with this. We did not win against the second deck, which I, for whatever reason, cannot recall what it is. But, oh, hey, we leveled up. Let's open a pack really quick and do our mastery. Look at that. Um, so far, thoughts on the deck. The Capricorn combo has not actually happened. <laughs> um, this is just a really aggressive deck is what I'm seeing and a very removal heavy deck. So, like, in that matchup, we were able to answer one for one pretty much everything. Um, and then that allowed us to just kind of swing in like crazy with Hactos, which is like kind of stupid. Um, I do get the Hactos having protection from like uh, the sweepers and things like that is super nice um, because he's just going to be able to attack in like crazy. But um, I really want to see the Capricorn combo. 
So hopefully we can get that in video too. If you're interested, stay tuned for that. We will have that available very, very soon. I do appreciate you guys watching as well. It uh, means a lot. Thanks for uh, sticking with us, watching all the videos. Please make sure to enter our giveaway and uh, check out our website at resolvesmtg.com if you're interested in picking up any of our awesome, awesome full art lands. Very, very happy with those. So hopefully you guys are too. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, part two, with this uh, Capricorn combo deck. Hopefully we'll actually be able to pull it off. I'll see you guys then.